So look, this review is extremely late, and I understand that, and I apologize for the fact that I was not able to give you my review of Movie 43 when it actually was released. I saw this movie because I was hearing so many things about it, and it was kind of one of those things where everyone was like, look, if you review movies, you, you just, you kind of got to watch it just so you can say that you actually watched it, and you actually put up with it, and you actually sat through it, so that at the end of the year, you can be like, yeah, I did in fact watch Movie 43. So I went and I saw it. I wasn't thinking about doing a review because I know I said I was going to, it's just I heard so many things about it and I was like, oh, I had already seen Parker and Hansel and Gretel and I was just not ready for another film like that. And, you know, I went and I saw this movie. <laughs> this is one of the worst movies that I have ever seen, ever. And look, when I saw this movie, the trailer's the way they promote it, okay? They don't really tell you what the movie's about. The tagline of the movie is, what is Movie 43? It was meant to create some sort of promotional scheme in which people are then like, wow, what's this movie with all these famous people in it? Let's go watch it and figure out what it is. The actual truth of the matter is the movie isn't about anything, so there was no logical campaign in which they could promote this film to explain the plot in a trailer. Essentially, this movie is like the worst rejected Saturday Night Live skits all in a row, like little five minute shorts, each featuring famous and well-known actors. Look, I'm gonna get really in depth about this movie, okay? Because I can't really review this film. I'm gonna call it Why Movie 43 is Wrong. And I'm gonna explain why this movie is wrong. This isn't just some film in which people are like, hey, let's make a fun movie and let's maybe cash in a little bit. This movie is wrong on so many levels and not just because of the content, because it's filled with the most obscene, idiotic content. The content in this movie is just disgusting. Like, it's just, it's not funny. It's just absolutely disgusting. And you can tell the point of the filmmakers, they're trying to make a movie in which each skit makes people go, oh, that was sick and just nasty and ew. That's the entire comedy behind this movie is ew. For instance, spoilers, by the way, throughout this entire video. Okay, I'm just gonna let you know, spoilers everywhere for movie 43. The first skit in this movie is Kate Winslet going to a blind date who ends up being Hugh Jackman. And Hugh Jackman seems like a nice normal guy wearing a scarf and everything. Then he takes the scarf off and guess what? He's got a scrotum on his neck. Yeah, he's got balls hanging from where his Adam's apple is. Like real balls, like just there. And of course, no one notices this except Kate Winslet. He never makes mention of it. Someone hits it with a plate and he's like, oh, it was, that hurt. This isn't acknowledged by anyone except her and the entire scene is literally her just almost about to regurgitate. That's the entire five minute skit is, oh my goodness, Hugh Jackman's got balls on his neck. Other skits in the film include Naomi Watts and Liev Schreiber who have a son. By the way, they're also a couple in real life. Now I'll get to that later. Yeah, they have a son and he's homeschooled. And since typically when kids are homeschooled, they don't get the same social interactions that they would at a public school, they decide to humiliate their son in every possible way by laughing at him while he takes a bath. The mother's like, hey, you've never had your first kiss, have you? Well, how about it's from me because the first kisses are usually really awkward. How about I give you your first kiss? And guess what? You know, apparently each son who went to public school doesn't have a complete experience unless he has an awkward homosexual experience. So how about the dad, Leif Schreiber, why don't you try to come on to him in a little different ways? Yeah, that, that, that's, that. Mm. The entire movie is filled with skits like that. One of the worst and dumbest ones is Sean William Scott and Johnny Knoxville. They found a little leprechaun. Yeah, that leprechaun's Gerald Butler. And this guy's in his basement and they have a little bit of a fight scene because they want his gold. And look, I'm done talking about the skits. They're awful. Every single one of them is terrible. Not one of them is remarkable. Halle Berry continues her descent into just crap after her Oscar win. She's in, she's just she, nothing. She, what, what is she even doing? Now, after seeing this movie, I just, I had to, what? Like, I had to know how this movie got made. How did this come about? How did this movie become something that people actually pay to go see in a theater? How did it come about? Well, let me explain. This movie took four years to make. Yes, this, this movie that was 90 something minutes long, filled with stupid little five minute short skits, took four years to make. The second biggest question on my mind, besides how did this thing get made, is how did all of these famous people agree to be in it? So I did some research. First off, Hugh Jackman, great guy, Oscar nominated right now. <laughs> this is not a good film to be released 
during your Oscar campaign. He agreed to be in this film as a favor for the producer, all right? Kate Winslet agreed to be in the scene with him. All right, now you got two big actors right there in one scene. There are articles across the entire internet confirming this, okay? I'm not gonna lie to you. They used the star power of those two names to then get the next few actors, and then the next few. And as their cast was built and assembled by these big names, they continued to say, hey, Naomi Watts, you know, it's just like a little two second thing you gotta do. You can even do it with your husband, Lee Schreiber, and we'll give you like $800 a day. Yes, they paid the actors $800 a day to be in this movie. They continued to guilt trip each of the actors into being this movie until they could assemble enough skits to make a feature length running time to put in theaters. This movie has absolutely no plot, so the production behind it said, you know what, we'll just market it by saying, what is movie 43? Because honestly, <laughs> we don't know what it is. <laughs> so let's just, let's make it seem like it's some big thing, because somehow Richard Gere's in this movie, who by the way, apparently continued to refuse to be in the movie after agreeing it, and finally they agreed to move the set to where he lives to film his scene. This movie is riddled with everything that is wrong about Hollywood. Every single thing that is wrong about Hollywood is in this movie. Big name actors attached to a project that sucks so bad that has absolutely no art to it whatsoever. A movie that is apparently a comedy, but does not have one laugh in it. A movie that is clearly just meant to take your money from you and that's it. Movie 43 is seriously one of the worst movies I've ever seen. And I'm gonna make a statement right now to you guys because I love you. You guys are great and thank you so much for watching my videos. You guys know that Dragon Ball Evolution is my least favorite movie of all time. Look, that movie just destroyed my childhood. It, like, it has a personal thing with me, that movie. But I recognize that movie 43 is worse than Dragon Ball Evolution. This movie is an atrocity to cinema. Like, I'm serious. This movie has everything that's wrong with Hollywood all over it. It is just, it is wrong. Like, I seriously sat there watching this movie just like, it's one of the most shocking movies I've ever seen in like the worst way because you just sit there in disbelief like, there are so many people out there who would love to be making movies in Hollywood or wherever, who, who have true ideas about what it's like to make a movie. People who are in film school, people who are learning about the art of filmmaking. And then you see this shit, like, just there, and you're like, why? And why are all these famous actors in it? These people who apparently have a love for movies, why are they in this movie? Like, it's just... Just stop making movies like this entirely. Whoever was involved with this movie, just fire them. I'm serious. Like, I never ever say just fire someone, like, because that's their job and their livelihood and they have families. Just fire the people who came up with this idea, okay? Just, just fire all the people who were like, I want to make this movie and let's make it a movie. Yes. Like, okay, look. All of the actors in this movie, you guys are great. I, I like almost all of them. But seriously, never ever do something like this again. Like, just take this as a lesson, all right? And I think they are because not one of them is promoting this movie. Seriously, not one actor promoted this movie. Out of all those people, they're all like, oh my God, what have I done? Like right now, you can see Hugh Jackman in his Oscar nominated role in Les Miserables, or you can go see Movie 43 where he's got balls hanging from his neck. Or you could go see Naomi Watts in The Impossible, a great performance, or you could go see the movie where she pretends to kiss her son and humiliates him while he's in the shower and everything because that's the best way to raise a kid. Look, this movie is exactly what's wrong with the filmmaking industry. Never ever make a movie like this again, Hollywood. If anyone who is in of any power in Hollywood watches this video, please share it. Just, just share it to your friends. Give it to them and say, look, this guy knows what's wrong with Hollywood. We need to stop doing this shit. Just show it to your friends who are sick of movies like this. Show it to someone who likes to do reviews. Just show it to someone who has like a passion for filmmaking who wants to actually be a director or a writer or an actor or an actress or an editor or a sound designer or anything. Just be like, this is what I mean. Like, this is what I hate about Hollywood. And maybe someone out there will actually hear like, yes, God, yes, that's how I feel right now. I hate movies like this. And that's why movie 43 is wrong. <laughs> Guys, thanks a lot for watching, and I apologize that this review was a little bit late. And as always, if you did like this video, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.